gosh, Lena, thanks for joining me today. I've got a low impact strength interval workout. I think you're gonna love. We're gonna use moderate weights anywhere from eight-ish pounds up to 20 on the high end. I'm gonna stay kind of moderate in the 10 to 15 pound range. Of course, you do what's right for you. Listen to your body. Before we get started, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So I see you again. We've got so much good stuff coming up this year. Ready to get going? Let's do it. Let's start with a little warm up. We're gonna stand legs wide, circle the arms, plie down deep. Arms keep circling around, get the blood flowing. One more time around with the arms meet at the top and we're gonna reverse right here. So you're pushing up and out. Core is tight, make sure you're breathing. One more time around right here and we're gonna press the hands, your palms up overhead. Kickstand that one foot and give me a nice side bend. Enjoy that stretch. And let's switch, arm goes up, clasp your hands at the top. Kickstand that foot out, side stretch. And marching out right here. Core is tight. Pump those arms, get the heart rate elevated. Let's march it wide right here. Bring those knees up and out. Breathing. And let's do some side step with the arms crossing in front. Get a nice bend in the knee, get some spring in your step. And we're gonna change the arms right here to punch it out. And I guess the feet kind of change too. We're step together, step tapping. Squeeze those shoulder blades when you bring your arms in. And take it back to a march right here. We're gonna step up and over that gate. Here we go, open up those hips, up and around. Knee comes up and around, keep going. Breathing. One more each side, then we're gonna reverse this motion. Right here, knees up and around the other way. Get that knee nice and high. Nice job. All right, my friends, ready to get started? Let's go. I'm gonna set my timer for 45 seconds on 15 seconds rest. Grab whatever you've got as your heavier weight. If you're just using one weight, that's perfectly good. I'm gonna start my timer. We're gonna do a deadlift to a suitcase squat. So what we're gonna do is feet are hip width apart, palms are facing you, weights are in front of your thighs, weights in your heels, flat back down slowly. Chin your like mid shin, squeeze it up, squeeze that booty, then the weights are gonna rotate to the side. Weight still in your heels, here's your suitcase squat. Squeeze. Shift those weights back to the front for the deadlift. And we're just gonna alternate those two right here. Suitcase squat like you're picking up your luggage. And deadlift, flat back down, up and squeeze the booty. This is so good for your posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, all of it. Don't forget to breathe. All right, that was quick. I'm gonna to go to my tens for this next one. We're gonna work the upper body. We're gonna alternate lower, upper. So we're gonna start with palms facing you at your collarbone, and we're gonna press one up and down, and the other one. We're gonna alternate an overhead press. Join me here. No rushing, just breathing and keeping that core nice and engaged. Bring it right back down to the collarbone. You rotate your palm so it faces out at the top right here. So good for the shoulders and the chest and the bison and tries. Core is engaged. Of course, you're breathing. Enjoy. I'm so glad you showed up for yourself today. Fitness is a gift I give myself. Keep it going. All right. You know what? You don't have to hold weights. You know, I'm gonna put my weights down for this one. What we're gonna do here is a side lunge to a curtsy lunge. So it's gonna look like this. Side lunge, press it up, and then step it back to that curtsy. Join me here. We're gonna stay all on one side. You'll notice a little balance challenge right there in the middle, side lunge. Up, yeah, if you need to push your foot down, it's perfectly fine. Side lunge, press it up. Step it back. We could be holding a weight here. Maybe on our next time through, we'll try it. 
breathing. Core is tight, your gaze is straight ahead. I've just got my hands here in the middle. I don't know, see what you like. Great balance challenge there. Seem to like them right here in my chest. Okay, we're gonna shake it out and get ready to go the other way. So we're gonna lunge and then step it out, step it back for that curtsy. So good for the lower body, really all of it. Whew, here we go, side lunge, press it up. And you may notice your balance is either better or not as good on this side. Just indicates a little bit of muscle and balance and that's perfectly normal. Your body gives you hints and messages. It's up to you to listen to them. Breathing, and step it back, nice and strong. Side lunge, get that good groin stretch, but not too much, be careful with it. Nice job, you guys. We're gonna grab our lighter of the weights after this one, if you've got them. I've got my tens. What we're gonna do, if you get our hip width apart, we're gonna do a side raise, and then shift the weight so palms are facing you, and front raise. Join me right here, shoulders are back and down, side raise. It doesn't have, you don't need to go any higher than your collarbone, front, breathing. Blow down as you lift. There you go. Really builds nice, beautiful shoulders, back and chest. And if you need to put the weights down or go lighter, by all means, there's no shame. You can do this with no weights at all. Exhale as you lift and shift to the side. Nice work. Right. Moving on, we've got a reverse lunge with a side leg lift. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna stay all on one side. So it's reverse lunge, step it up. You could kickstand here or you can balance. Side leg, join me right here. Reverse lunge, up, lateral lift. Keep going. We could be holding a weight here as well. Toe of that swinging leg faces the front of the room making that medial hip do the work control it you're strengthening that part of the body and maybe you're working your swinging leg I should call it free leg maybe it never touches the ground but it's okay if you kickstand as well it's all good and you don't have to swing it up super high it's a slow controlled toe pit points forward Nice job, shake it out, get ready to work the other leg. Ready for that reverse lunge. And like I said before, we could be holding weights here. Maybe our next time through, we'll give it a shot. Here we go, reverse lunge, up, lateral leg lift, and back it down. You don't have to touch that knee to the ground and back. As long as you're in the general vicinity, I'm happy. Keep going, keep breathing, slow controlled. Work that medial hip, you're working your quads, glutes, the lower body's really getting a nice workout. Great job. We're gonna grab our lighter of the weights for our next exercise for some alternating chest flies. Do that now. What I want is you to stand, knee soft, back flat, stick that booty out, weights in your heels. And then we're gonna fly right and left, alternating. So it's right and left. Join me right here. Fly it out. Elbow is soft. Your gaze is out at the floor in front of you. Core stabilizes, weights in those heels. If you want to step out for a little wider stance, it's all good. Squeeze the back. 
as you lift. Some nice definition in the shoulders and back. Not to mention strength, which is more important to me. I love to be strong. I don't care as much how I look anymore. <laughs> well, of course I do, but I'm all about functional strength for longevity at this point. Okay. You know what? I'm going to hang on to these rows. Yeah, maybe I'll go heavier. What the heck? We're going to do one side at a time. This is just a row. We're going to stand and do the right arm. So left leg goes forward, palm faces down, and we're going to pull and down. Elbow goes straight back around your body. Pull. This is your row. Exhale as you lift. Core is tight. Keep breathing. Don't let those shoulders ride up toward the ears. I'm glad I went with a heavier weight here. Your shoulders and back are strong. Breathing. You're doing great, keep going. All right, we're gonna switch. Get the other, get the other row going here in a second. Give her a second, give yourself a second to rest and regroup. Here we go, row and release, and again. No need to rush these. Breathing, elbow goes back and around your body. Palm stays facing you. These are your rows, nice job. Keep that back flat. job. We've got one more exercise in our set and then we're going to take it from the top. Keep your heavier weight for this last one because this is a strong muscle group that will require a heavier weight. This is your tricep press. What we're going to do, stand with one weight, press up overhead, hold it the long way vertically. And we're going to hinge it back and then press it up to the ceiling. Keep your elbows in. So they're not flaring up. You can tap that weight on your upper back if you, if you have the mobility to do so. If not, no worries. Just hinge at the elbow. Press nice and strong. Blow it out as you press it up. Make those triceps work. Keep those elbows in. Nice job. Do you feel them working? I sure do. Right, weight comes down, grab your other heavy weight. We're gonna take it right from the top. This is our deadlift to suitcase squat, palm space. You feet are hip width apart. Get ready to skim it on down toward the mid shin. Here we go, down. Squeeze it up strong, shift the weights to your sides, weight and heels. There's our suitcase squats, up and squeeze. Dad lift, and squat. Knees are tracking straight ahead. Make sure you're not bowing them out or in. Keep it going. Squeeze those glutes, set it back. Use your breath. This muscle group can go heavier. It's a, your glutes are so strong. That whole posterior chain is strong. But you have to work it because it gets lazy. All right, I'm going to go a little lighter for our overhead press. You do what you're feeling today. Weights come up to your collarbone. Palms are facing you. We're going to press them up to the ceiling one at a time. Here we go. Up and in. Other way. Blow it out as you press it up. Keep that core engaged. Twist that weight so your palm faces out at the top. Nice job. Keep going. 
Got our side lunge to curtsy next. And this time we can try holding some weights. What do you think? If not, not. You do what your body is telling you to do. I'm gonna challenge myself and try the weights. We'll see what that does to balance. Blow it out. All right. So I'm gonna lunge to my right, probably your left to start with. I'm gonna hold the weights at my side. When I lunge out, I'm probably gonna shift them to the front just to get it out of the way. We'll see how it goes. Shoulders are down. So side lunge, yeah, weights are in front. Step it up and through and back. Squeeze it up. Again, side lunge, press it up. Step it back to that curtsy. Nice job. You've got the motion, see? If you need to tap in the middle, that's perfectly okay. But we are working some balance here. Feel that the base foot, how it's really stabilizing this when you bring it up right now. Yeah, I feel it. Breathing, getting good stretch. These quads are working. Nice movement. All right, shake it out, get ready to go the other way. You guys are doing great so far. It does not take hours in the gym to be fit. Honestly, it becomes, especially for us women of a certain age, it becomes too much too soon. Here we go, step it out, up, step it back. And we get in a cortisol situation where we have that stress hormone coursing through our body, which leads to belly fat and inflammation. So it's smarter. It's smart to work out smarter instead of harder when we hit a certain age, because we don't have the estrogen we once had, which would buffer that cortisol. So less is more. And of course we dial in our diet. We be mindful of our food and we find a balance, which isn't easy always to find. All right. I do not feel like holding these for the lateral raises, but I will if you need to go lighter or put them down by all means. I mean, let's do one at a time this time, just because I'm tired. Let's go right lift and left and forward and the other way. Keep it going out to the side. It's a little more manageable, I think, if you've got heavier weights. Again, keep going right. Left side, here comes front. Blow it out. Core is working. Shoulders are staying down out of your ears. And you're breathing. You're doing so great today. Stay with it. Gaze is straight ahead. All right. We've got a reverse lunge with that side leg lift. Next, I promised you I was gonna hang on to my waist as much as I don't want to at this point because I'm tired. I'm gonna hold on to them. Here we go. All on the right, step it back, up, leg lift, and back again. Keep going, toes pointing to the front of the room. Holding the waist gives you gives that glute a little extra work, a little more challenging to balance all of this. Up, lift, make that medial glute work. Nice job, foot is flexed. Whoa, there goes my balance. Certainly when we get fatigued, our balance suffers. Maybe we slow it down, maybe we lighten the weights. Let's shake it out. Get ready to go the other way. Whew. Yeah, I'm really tired of these weights. Get ready to step it back. There we go. Lunge it back up, medial side raise, back, toe to the front, make that hip work, slow and controlled, These quads are working, core is working, it's just a wonderful thing. It's 
Standing nice and tall, shoulders down. Those flies are next. So we're gonna hang onto those weights. All right, I'm just gonna put mine down for a second here and shake it out. My upper body's tired of holding on. All right, let's regroup. Weights in the heels, knees are soft, back is flat, booty is sticking out. Get ready to fly right and left. Here we go, right and left. Nice and controlled. Use your breath. You don't wanna like swing it out wildly. Your weight is probably heavy enough where you can't do that. Mine are. <laughs> Gaze is out at the floor out in front of you and fly. Give it gorgeous, strong back and shoulders. Weights in those heels. Knees are not locked out, nice and soft. We're not slumping, back is not rounded. All right. Now I'm gonna go heavier because I'm a total glutton for punishment. Let's get those rows done. So we're gonna do the right side first. That means the left leg is out in front. We're gonna do a split stance. Palm is facing toward you and pull that elbow back. Here we go, breathe out, exhale as you pull it back, blow it out. Nice job. At least we're only holding one weight here, right? Be grateful for the small favors. Front knee is bent, back knee is, I don't know, it's kind of straight, but you don't have to lock it out. Shoulders are down and away from those ears. Elbow pulls back nice and strong. Good job. You're doing great. All right, we're gonna switch hands. Switch so your right foot is in front, left is in back. Palm faces you. Get ready to pull that row back. Whew. Here we go, and row. Nice and slow, no rushing today. We almost never rush. We want slow, deliberate movements. Make your muscles do the work, not momentum. Blow it out as you lift. Elbow goes straight back, close to your body. It's almost like you're pulling the weight toward your armpit, yes. After this one, we're gonna hang on to our heavier weight for our finisher, which is what? It's that tricep, tricep extension. Okay, we're almost there, my friends. I'm getting tired, but it's, we're moving. It's all good. Hold your weight vertically up toward the ceiling and get ready to hinge those elbows back. Tap that weight on your upper body if you can. And press and breathe. Nice work, keep going. Elbows are close to your ears. Don't let them flare out. Let the triceps get all the work. Nice job. Almost there. All right, my friends, you did so, so great. Make sure you get some good hydration. Follow this up with some protein so we can rebuild that muscle tissue that we just broke down. That's how we come back stronger. Give your body some rest and protein, and that's how we recover. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.